In today's video, I'm sharing 10 atomic habits that have cultivated success in my life. Hi everyone, Jennifer here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 atomic habits that have cultivated success in my life. Today's video is brought to you by Ritual Vitamins, and I'm going to be speaking about them later on in the video. But for now, let's jump into the Atomic Habits. What are Atomic Habits? Well, I have recommended the book Atomic Habits by James Clear in the Chic Assignment this month, and we are supposed to be working on one good habit to cultivate this month. So I read Atomic Habits, and it's one of these books that just really transforms you. I highly recommend it. and. It was really eye-opening for me and put things into perspective because it made me realize that the reasons why I'm successful in certain parts of my life are because I have unknowingly cultivated atomic habits. And then the parts in my life that are not so successful are because I need to cultivate atomic habits for, right? So what is an atomic habit? Atomic in this sense means small. It's the small little changes, the choices that you make on a daily basis that change the trajectory of your life. So I'm doing a deep dive study on atomic habits in the Chic Society vodcast. Um, on Friday, so I go over it in, in more depth over there. But today I'm going to share with you the atomic habits that I have in my life that have really set me up for success. So the first one is to wake up early. That's habit number one. And you know, all sorts of successful people say this, so it, there has to be something to it. And I have been waking up early for about 13 years, ever since I became really serious about becoming a writer. That's what I did. That was back before I had children and I would set my alarm up really early, even though I didn't need to wake up early. But I found that that early morning time was perfect for me to write in. Now people are gonna have different things that they'll want to do in the morning. You might want to exercise or clean your house in peace or read or just have some alone me time. Uh, I like to write during that time. So it's going to be different for everyone, but I love waking up early and that has definitely set me up for success in my life. Habit number two is that I set up the homeschool room the night before for the next morning. We are a homeschooling family and I know that this doesn't apply necessarily to everyone. But for me, it's all about thinking, okay, what do we have to do the next day? And how can I set myself up for success the night before? So now we will clean the homeschool room after the day is over, the homeschool day. But in the evening, I go in there and I set out the curriculum for the next morning on their desks. Now, when I don't do this, the day is guaranteed to have bumps because the, the kids, they're not exactly sure what they should be doing and they have to ask me and then I need to go in. Now when I do this, I lay out their curriculum and they know that they can get started on the things that they can do independently that they don't need me for. So I have troubleshooted this area for our particular family and it's been amazing. So if you homeschool, I highly recommend setting everything out the night before that you're going to need in the morning because the mornings are always so busy. But this can relate as well if your children go to school. Of course, you might wanna pack their lunch the night before, make sure their backpacks are ready. Whatever you can do to help the following day run smoother is a good thing. Habit number three is taking vitamins. Now I've taken vitamins regularly for decades now, uh, and I got really serious about it when I became pregnant with my first child, and my doctor told me how important it was. So this brings me to Ritual, who are the sponsor for today's video, and I've been taking Ritual now for pretty much a year straight, and I love the vitamins, they're really, Good. My favorite thing about them is that they have a mint essence to them and they're easy to swallow. They don't make me feel nauseous. And I personally really like these vitamins. So you know that even with a perfect diet, it can be hard to get the key nutrients that you need on a daily basis. So Ritual helps women and men of all ages fill in the gaps of their diet. That's what I really like about it. Ritual is obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. They contain nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3s that are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. 
Their no nausea capsule design is gentle on an empty stomach and I can personally attest to that. By the way, they also offer a men's multivitamin and a 50 plus prenatal, postnatal and teen vitamins and they are delivered to your door via subscription. So better health doesn't happen overnight. It's definitely something that you need to work on every day and taking vitamins is an example of an atomic habit. You don't see the benefit of it right away. It's a small change. So Ritual is offering 10% off of your first three months when you use my link and my code down below. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's talk about habit number four, meal planning. So I have lived life without meal planning and I have lived life with meal planning and I can tell you <laughs> that my life is so much easier when I meal plan because so many reasons. I save time, I save money, we are happier, the meals turn out better, but I can definitely say that it is something you have to plan. So I went through a period of burnout after my fourth child where I, it was about two years almost, where I didn't meal plan, I was just tired, done with cooking. I relied heavily on meal kits during this time and we tried so many of them. Um, and that was just necessary for the time. But now that I have more energy, I have started meal planning again. And I realized back then that meal planning would have definitely been beneficial for the meals that I was cooking. So with meal planning, I just sit down once a week and I decide what we're going to eat based on what we already have or what I plan to buy from the grocery store. So when I meal plan, I'm able to just have a list and I only get what's on the list when I'm grocery shopping. That's how I save money because I'm not just strolling down the aisle randomly putting things in <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. So I save money with it, I save time, and it's just something that has improved my life so greatly. If you want meal planning inspiration, check out my what's for dinner videos. I will leave a playlist in the description box down below. Okay, habit number five is ordering my groceries online. So I was always opposed to this. I was one of those people that said, I will never do that. I need to pick my own produce. I can't rely on somebody else to do it. And then one of my really trusted friends said, what are you doing? Going to the grocery store, you're exhausted. You have four kids. And you know, at that time I had a young baby. She's like, just get your groceries delivered. So I did try it. I use Instacart. And now I use also Walmart delivery for other things. So I do both of them and it's completely changed my life. It was a habit that I switched over to that gave me so much more time. It also helps me save money because again, I'm not walking down the aisle. So I sit hand in hand with my meal plan and I go online and order only what I need to order. And then it's delivered the next day usually because I do it at night, but you could have same day delivery. And ordering groceries has just been amazing, especially during the pandemic. So this is another habit. It's like, if you can outsource anything, uh, outsource it. If you can do something to help you in your daily life, and at this point I don't have the time to just go down and spend an hour or so at the grocery store and with all the kids, it's, it's too stressful. <laughs> So I order my groceries online. I would love to know, do you do this? Do you do it yet? Or are you hesitant to order your groceries online? Let me know down below. Okay, the next one is big. Habit number six is intermittent fasting. You know this has been so big for me. I started this last March and I will be doing a intermittent fasting one year later video. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you won't miss that. But intermittent fasting is one of those atomic habits for me that has completely changed my life. And the reason why is because you start it off and you think, okay, what, what's really happening here? Is anything happening? I do the 16-8 method and um, you actually don't necessarily see results for a while. But for me, I was able to lose all of the baby weight that I wanted to lose and then a little bit more that I thought I was going to lose. <laughs> I'm gonna discuss this in the one year checkup. Um, but also I've seen so many other health benefits for me. My skin is cleared up. I feel really good. The energy's good. I'm not bloated anymore. So it's been one of those atomic habits where in the beginning, 
I made these small changes, I stuck with them, and then over time, major results. So intermittent fasting has been really huge for me. And if you wanna know more about my intermittent fasting journey, I will leave some of the videos in the I cards up above. Okay, habit number seven is that I like to listen to audiobooks while cleaning. How is this a habit and why is it good over time? Well, because I love to read and I don't have the luxury of just laying down and reading a book that much anymore. I don't have that much time. And if I do that, someone always comes and talks to me, so I never <laughs> read the book anyway. So I really have gotten into the great habit of listening to an audiobook while I read. I put my headphones in usually if there are people around me. I have my apron on, I tuck my phone into my apron. You know, I subscribe to Audible and I will listen to a really good book and I get so much done when I do this. And sometimes if the book is really good, I seek out excuses to go clean or fold that laundry, clean the kitchen or do whatever I need to do because I wanna know what happens next in the book. So it has a twofold purpose of um, educating myself or entertaining myself, depending on the type of book I'm listening to, and also getting housework done. And it's an atomic habit. It's something I do every day. I see the changes in my house. I see that cupboard I went through or the linen closet I went through or a clean kitchen at night. And it's because I look forward to it through listening to the audiobooks. Okay, habit number eight has to do with books as well. And that is, and this is so big, okay? If there is only one habit that you take away from this video, I hope that it's this one. It is that I read living books to my children every night. And I have discussed this in a video before on the channel. So what is a living book? Well, Charlotte Mason, who was a British educator at the turn of the century, defined a living book as a book that draws you in. It is a book that engages the reader and draws you in to want to learn more about a particular subject or to be more invested or involved in the story. Living books are typically classics. You can find a lot of those. So what I do is every single night we go through a book and I will just read one chapter a night to my older daughters. My younger sons, we're still in the age of reading picture books and things like that. But after they go to bed, I go to my girl's room and we read a living book. So we've read The Wind in the Willows. We read through the Little House on the Prairie series. We read through The Secret Garden. And right now we're reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I cannot tell you how big this is. I'm saying one chapter a night, they expect it. You go into the room and you read to them and it's transformative. We bond over this. We laugh over this. It's so good to read good literature. And it really has improved our relationship and so much more. So if there is only one habit that you take away from this, I hope that this is the one. And if you love reading living books to your children, let me know about your experience in the comments down below. Atomic habit number nine that has changed my life for the better is planning. You know I like to plan. I plan in both a paper planner and a digital planner. The paper planner I use on a daily basis is from the day designer and it's wonderful. I really like this planner. So I use this on a daily basis and I also use my digital planner. My paper planner, I pretty much write down to-do lists, things for work. I will write appointments down, but I use it mainly to check off the list that I have to accomplish on a daily basis. My digital planner is more for appointments with alarms and settings for when I need to leave and things like that. So I use both to plan my life and I'm so much more productive because of it. Every single day I will have a list of major things I need to accomplish and it's good to just check off the list. I get into the habit of doing that every day and that's how I stay so productive. And it, it really is. It's, it is a wonderful habit to get into. So maybe you're one of those people that has a planner, but you start off strong using it and then you taper off after a while. Well, I do have a video on that, on how you can stay consistent with using your planner. So I can leave that linked in the I card above. The final atomic habit that has changed my life and set me up for success is to write every single day. Now I am a writer. So writing every day for me is really important to just stay on top of my craft. So I might write a blog post. I might write in a book I'm writing or working on a book. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I might write poetry. Um, it doesn't matter, but as long as I write something every single day, 
it's just been transformative for my career. I have published five books and people say, how do you do that? How do you publish these books? And how do you find the time to write? And it's because I write every single day. I do it in the early morning hours. So do you see how all of these habits are interconnected? Um, I will write early. That's why I have to wake up early. That, that's very connected. That's why I set up the homeschool room the night before so that the morning runs smoother so that when I finish writing, we're able to do school. That's how the grocery delivery is connected to the meal planning. And the, you know, it's just, they're all connected to set me up for success in certain parts of my life. So I realize that not everybody watching this is a writer, but there is probably something that you do that you are interested in, whether it is a profession, a career, or a hobby. And I would recommend that you do that passion of yours every single day. Try to find the time to do that every day. It will change the trajectory of your life. So that is it. Those are the atomic habits that I have cultivated in my life. I didn't know that that's what I was doing until I read Atomic Habits, but that is what I was doing. And those habits set me up for success in my life. I would love to know what your good habits are. What do you do that has set you up for success? Also, what is one habit that you would like to work on? So my habit that I need to work on, it's a bad habit, is that I'm a really messy cook and I need to work on being neater when I'm in the kitchen because when I cook, it's like a hurricane. I mean, Ben is always telling me, <laughs> he's always saying, what, why, why is it so messy in here? I have my theories on this, but um, anyway, uh, that's what I'm working on. And so I'm going to try to use atomic habits, small changes to get in there and make myself a neater cook. Okay. In the Chic Society this Friday, I'm going to be sharing 10 habits that I need to work on. So I shared the good habits today. In that vodcast, I'm sharing the habits I need to work on. So I will leave the Chic Society information down below. I would also like to thank Ritual Vitamins for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click on my link below. You will get 10% off your first three months when you use my link and code down below. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. Don't forget to keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.